everyone, it's Velo here. Welcome to a new video and welcome to a roofing tutorial. Um, I felt like doing this and I asked on Twitter if people were interested in seeing a roofing tutorial or of some sort. I might be doing a few parts but today I thought I would just show you how I would roof a uh, a house shaped like this it's a little l-shaped house with this little bay window thing going on here now I'm not like the best builder ever and there are surely surely many more ways to do roofing but I will share with you the way that I like to do it and some tricks that I like to use and yeah so of course um, what I would start with in this kind of a house is just the very basic basic gabled roof so I would put it here and you can see here there are a lot of things um, you can push and pull in this little piece of roofing but we don't have to worry about anything else right now than just um, pulling from the side and also pulling this way so that we can get it to be the right size um, if you are wondering what all of these things are um we will go through some of them but you can also surely find all the shortcuts and the meanings online if you would want to and the other thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna grab this one at the top of here which makes the roof um taller or shorter or that kind of a thing and i will do something like that and to ensure that all of my roof pieces are the same height and kind of the slope is the same i will copy it so i've used this copy tool and i've just put it here and we'll do this so that it's the right size so with this kind of a roof you might run into this problem that is th this bit um, sticking out from here and you probably don't want that um, there are many ways around this but the simplest is the simplest way is probably just taking this roof and you know pulling it all the way through so that you have the similar effect on both sides and that way it looks intentional and you can also do this more manually if you want the same kind of effect also here um, you can like layer as many roofs as you desire um, you can put like three or four on top of each other so I'm just gonna take this hipped roof and place it underneath this one and I'm gonna make sure that they are the same height so that there is no like overlapping the texture goes pretty nicely when um, the roofs are the same height and now you can see here we have the same kind of thing going on as here and I will later show you another way or a couple ways to also get around that if you don't want this but this is what I like to do just to give like roofs a little bit of character and more detail so I'm also going to copy that piece of roof here and also I forgot to mention but um, I did pull these eaves down one bit so um, the normal roof is like this you can't see it so you will have to grab this little thing here this little arrow and make it like so and you can see it looks pretty nice now in a uh, how's the shape the only problem usually is a bay window like this like otherwise this is relatively easy but fortunately um these octagonal roofs and all these other kinds of like round roofs were added um like a year ago in a patch or so so i'm gonna grab this octagonal roof that is the right um shape even though this is not an octagonal room but it kind of is a part of it and here you can again see that the heights don't match and you can again pull this and i think the easiest way in a situation like this is to take a look at this trim here and make these white bits match just to see it a little bit better i'm going to apply this 
Let's do this roof trim on all of these roofs so it's even a little bit more defined and um, then we're just gonna pull this down a couple more and now I think it looks pretty good. Yeah, so here you can see the roof trim is lining up perfectly um the top is at the same spot and then the middle seam is at the same spot so that's what i would do with uh with a bay window like this and this is the like easiest solution to, is to have it be three wide so that you can use the octagonal roof in other cases it might be a little bit harder but that's the shape and size also that goes with the like bay window seats that we've gotten but yeah that would be my roofing done i would probably leave it like this or i might even do like some additional bits to the house this way so that i could do just an additional wing wing for example here and just extend this roof here but that's a whole another thing. Um, basically, you probably want to have like the basic shape of a house done first. Then you want to go roofing. And then you might want to add something if the like overall build is looking boring and a little bit planned. Okay, and now I'm going to show you a couple more ways, some alternative ways you can work with this kind of a shape of a house and do the roofing. So in these two cases that I'm going to show you, in one of them you want to have uh, this detail here and in the other one you want to have only this. So in this um, example you have like both of these features, but if you only want... Um, like this side of the roof to be flat you would want it to look like this from this direction but of course you don't want this here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this back to where this roof ends so there and we are going to grab this half hipped roof and place it next to this one and we're gonna again make it, make sure that it's the same height as the other roofs. You might need to do it a couple times before you get it right. And we're gonna make it like this. And then we are gonna grab this little arrow that brings the eaves down like this. So that is, it matches the other pieces and just gonna bring it all the way through here now this is overlapping a little bit so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna grab this but i'm also going to press shift while i do so so by pressing shift you only adjust the side you're grabbing so it doesn't do anything to this side now apparently in this particular roof texture this um the visuals are just always overlapping when you do this so you might just want to try a few different textures so here it's already a lot better and here we have this feature here that this bit of roof is showing but here it's completely flat there's nothing poking through so that is um example number one or two if you will and then the other version is that you want to have a uh, bit of roof here but you don't want the eave to show so in that case we will leave this roof here and we will copy it and we will place it right next to the other one and make it the correct size and in this case we are going to bring the eaves back up so that it is not visible here now we will adjust this more soon we will just first do press shift and drag this here and then we're gonna adjust this bit here now as far as i know there is no way to do this absolutely seamlessly because as you can see now the roof is almost there so this eave can either go here when there is a gap or it can go here where there's a tiny little bit poking through 
from here but I feel like this is still something you can work with you can for example put a column there it already looks a lot better like that and you can do the rest of the building like around that I feel like it's not that bad and then another thing though now in this bit here with this um, method or technique you will have like a little bit of a gap here so these roofs don't connect seamlessly if we were to want to connect them seamlessly we would have this eave poking through here but you can use any of these three methods to roof a house like this of course you can use so so many more but if you want the roof to like kind of be the same shape as the house and to be simple but also a little bit more detailed this is what you can do and i'm just gonna show you how many roofs i have here um on top of each other so that you can get a better idea still what we are working with so there's one roof here this is a separate roof to this and then below these bigger roofs we have these hipped roofs as well as the little octagonal one so that's quite many roofing um, pieces together and that's just the basics so um, learning to roof is quite hard like it took me years to figure out these things myself and we have gotten improvements to the tools which is great so we can definitely do much more than we could before um but yeah i hope this was useful and like i said i'm probably gonna do a few parts of this so in the next one we will have a different shape of a house we will do different things with the roofs and if there is something in particular you would want me to talk about please let me know and yeah, I hope this was helpful. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and I will see you all very soon again. Bye bye!